Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave after a long absence uh, for me. Not necessarily for you because we had some inventory to post up of videos and things, but yeah. Oh, I need a haircut. Um, the holidays are now past us. Happy holidays. I hope your December holidays and New Year's were lovely. Ours were super quiet. We went to bed at 10 on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Yeah, that's the reality. That's the reality. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm back in the shop and I am cleaning things up and putting them away. And among the things I have received are some stuff I wanted to highlight. I, a lot of you send me lovely gifts and things that you made, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I can't shoot videos about every single thing. And in no way should you construe this as me trolling for gifts because... I do just fine on my own. I, I am the hardest person to buy for because I satisfy all my own um, object needs. Uh, and yet, some of you have sent me some things that really captured my heart. Uh, and this is, two are from Blade Runner and one from Star Wars. This is one of the uh, NECA horses. Is this one of the... I think this is one of the NECA horses. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. At any rate, um, this person sent me one of the uh, uh, carved wooden horses from Blade Runner 2049. This is the horse that leads Ryan Gosling's character to believe he may be in intrinsic uh, and important in the history of the androids. Uh, and NECA did a magnificent replica of it, and I believe that's what this is. Um, it has the 61021 uh, the 61021 date on the foot per the original. The only thing is is that this really feels like it might be made out of wood. It's really hard to tell. Anyway, the card here says, "Hey, Adam, I don't know if you have one in your collection already, but I know you are a big fan of Blade Runner. Merry Christmas, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. That is really sweet. Uh, I did have, I actually, uh, when NECA released these, I don't think they sold very well, and they went on sale, and I bought a whole bunch of them for a very inexpensive price. And then a couple of Christmases ago, I gave them all away to a bunch of folks who, I just, yeah, that's why I buy a lot of something, if I can get a deal on it, so I can give it away. Um, I really appreciate this, because I, I might... I believe that what happened was I gave away all my NECA horses and I didn't end up with one. Uh, that also happens from time to time. Thank you, sir. What a what a sweet and thoughtful little gift. Um, on the slightly more elaborate side, we have this dude who... Um, <clears throat> so I have talked in the past about my prop collecting proclivities and that I'm a completist and... Um, in, in the collecting community of all sorts of things, uh, this is a common trait. If you collect typewriters, for instance, you also probably collect typewriter ribbons and perhaps typewriter repair tools and other typewriter things, which a lot of people will call a go with, right? It goes with the hobby. And <clears throat> we've covered so many Blade Runner props on this channel that it's obvious that like, Everyone who's ever loved Blade Runner has kind of combed through the, the, the shots of Blade Runner and found ways to make the vid phone and use all original parts and make the, 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 the Asper machine in Deckard's apartment. Uh, but then the completionists out there start shooting freeze frames of Deckard's apartment and noticing things like, oh, this little, uh, this Asian man ceramic figure and uh, here is this gift from David. Uh, he is user D1402 on the RPF. He says, I hope it's okay to send you this. I thought it might be something to compliment your existing Blade Runner prop collection. You may have seen the run of these figures I did on the RPF. I found the vintage production mold for the Asian man sculpture used in Deckard's apartment and created a short run of screen app replicas before it started to disintegrate. This figurine is my glaze color test number one of three. Having created three full runs of 15 pieces each, I'm done and figured your collection would be a good place for this last piece. 
And here he has this wonderful uh, uh, wise man figure was slip cast into a vintage production mold using white earthenware. It was hand trimmed, refined, and bisque fired to 990 degrees Celsius before being glazed and fired again to 1,080 degrees C. This first run of 15 figures was created by me in May and June of 22. Each figure is signed and stamped inside with my own running hair maker's stamp. Dude. Dude. I'm just like... I'm blown away. Uh, David Stevens, edition number, first edition, artist proof, glaze test, no stamp. Dude, thank you. Thank you. This is beautiful and totally is now a part of my Blade Runner collection. I also really appreciate um, the frame in which you describe it because I, I describe my collection as pieces that I am the steward of for a period of time. It's not permanent. It's not always. But, like, I bring these things together and they have a life potentially beyond me. Uh, and so I love that David's like, I think this would be a good place to, a good piece to have in your collection. And I think you're totally right. Thank you, sir. Also, he's beautiful. He's absolutely lovely. Amazing. Uh, this is such a great COA and it shows such pride in the work. And this is the kind of thing, always sign your work, always sign your pieces, put a date on it. You will forget when you made it. And it is always nice to leave a note for future people to understand uh, what has transpired. In fact, in fact, I am going to, yeah. So this is how I make sure that everything stays with everything. We're just going to put that oops, oops, up in there. And actually, I think I'm also going to put that up in there because it deserves to live with it. There we go. Note for future historians of my collection. <laughs> David, amazing. Thank you. And the last piece that came from Christmas, yeah, that's reasonable to frame in there, uh, comes from, comes from Bertie Jelps, Birdie, I can't tell if that's an L or a P. I'm so sorry. Uh, but he is from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. And he says, I hope this letter finds you well all the way in America. I wanted to tell you how grateful I am for your content. It's helped me develop a passion for making and modeling. Since tested, I've made an original series phaser, a proton pack, and multiple other props and clothes. You should find a model of the Millennium Falcon that I painted. Oh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Bertie. Bertie, this is a lovely paint-up of the Millennium Falcon. And I'm so happy that you sent it to me for Christmas. I may hang this on my tree next year. Yeah, that, that certainly might end up happening. Thank you. I... These and comb. Oh, wow. He's also done my name with a sword through it, which I also really appreciate. Yeah, that is really swanky. Um, I am moved. Uh, thank you for taking the time to paint this and then to box it up and send it to me with this beautiful note. Like I said, I can't respond to everybody's, uh, to all the, all the amazing things that arrived. There's just not enough time. But uh, this is a representative sample of the kind of heartfelt love and collaboration, it feels like, uh, I get through the mails from our tested fans. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for joining me for this beautiful trio of show and tell beauties. And uh, happy new year, everyone. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Gotta get a haircut. I gotta get a haircut. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.